Sick Picnic Media presents Actor Tips, good advice for Hollywood's undiscovered stars, with Linda Connors and Kent Squarein. While most actors don't even keep track of their stuff on their resume anymore, it's good practice for young hopefuls in case you get luck and get a meeting at Paramount. But be careful, too much information on your resume sends a red flag that you're lying about your experience. Here are the top five tips on how to make your resume sing for the casting directors and butthole producers. Use a professional font like Comic Sans or Papyrus. A good font lets them know who's the show business pro and who's the jerk in all honors classes. Don't list too much personal information at the top. Height and eye color are fine, especially if you've got green eyes, because those are really rare if you happen to be Chinese. You'll definitely work from it. But don't put your age or your weight, or they'll call, they'll call it a lie and they won't call you in again. Put SAG dash after at the top, even if you're not in the union yet. Hollywood is outlawing non-union work on January 1st of 2014, and you don't want them to think that you're a little biatch. Put what agency you're with at the top, even if you don't have one. Kent and I have a book with all the agent's cell phones in it that you can get for $45, and that way if they check, you won't be caught with your pants down or your little pussy hanging out. TV and film credits first, everything else after that. Don't have any yet? Make them up. Hollywood is outlawing IMDB on January 1st, so nobody will be able to check after that. It's fine to list special skills at the bottom, but make sure they're not something everybody can do, like drive a stick or do a French accent. Hollywood is all about being unique and spectacular and impressing the little scrotum lickers so that you can fudge a little if you have to. Just make it interesting. Don't include any live theater. That kind of shit will get you kicked out of Hollywood. And don't list any commercials unless they're for McDonald's or Home Depot. And if you don't have a stapler, just tape it to your business card to have less stress over the whole thing. For more acting tips and samples of all the different resumes we use, go to actingtipsforgettingfamous.tv. And remember, power, power to, the to the actors. actors.